Greetings and salutations from beautiful West Palm Beach, Florida. Burr, 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 burr. Welcome back to my channel. You know, Rick Owens is my favorite designer and I thought it would be fun to show you guys my modest Rick Owens collection. Now, don't expect anything too groundbreaking here as most of it is basics, especially in the clothing. I did, however, want to show off a few of my pieces. So for the purposes of this video, we're going to start with the shoes because that's obviously going to be the biggest draw. Sue me, I'm trying to game the algorithm a little bit, but also because most of what I have is shoes. Then we'll talk about the one one top I have, which is a t-shirt you can probably see right here behind me. And then we'll move into the pants, which is the second most items that I have. So enough with this intro, let's get right into it. The first pieces I kind of wanted to show off was the recent collab between Converse and Rick Owens' Dark Shadow line. They got together and made this Frankenstein monster shoe, the Converse Turbo Weapon. Now it's a remixed version of the classic Converse weapon known to be worn by NBA legends Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. It's been Rickified with the thick stack platform sole, the extended padded tongue, as well as the shark tooth outsole. They feature a premium tumbled leather upper and they're sure to snap necks every time people see them. Now these were very affordable. I got one on eBay for a steal, slightly over retail at like about 240. And then I got the Egret one brand new from, I wanna say Saks Fifth Avenue for 200. Now the thing that got me into Rick was back a few years ago, I was really, really into the Rick Owens and Adidas collaboration. Now, this is before I knew very much about Rick Owens as a designer. I just walked into St. Alfred one day, saw some boots, and I was like, geez, these are kind of fire. So we'll start off by talking about these two boots, the Adidas and Rick Owens Superstar and Mastodon boots. Both of them have a very similar shape and design featuring that shell toe toe cap in the front. However, that's where the similarities end as the Adidas Superstar boot carries over the classic cup sole sole that the Adidas Superstar is known for, whereas the Mastodon brings in this stacked sole with the shark tooth outsole that Rick Owens is often known for. Both of them sit on a premium calf leather, though they both look like they're executed in different ways. I would say, in my opinion, the upper leather on the Superstar boot seems a little bit nicer in my opinion, but I like the fit of the Mastodon boot so much better. I just love the way it hugs the calf, whereas the Superstar boot does not. Now, these are a little hard to find right now, but I will say if you are looking at a Superstar boot, go about a half size to a full size down from your normal size, whereas if you're looking at the Mastodon, go a half a size to a full size up from your normal size. Next up from my Adidas and Rick Owens collection, we have the Tech Runner and the Level Runner. Now, both of these are from different eras of that collection collection, much like the Superstar boot and the Mastodon boot. These both have a lot of similarities, including the angular front and the extended heels. They also feature premium leather uppers, but that's where the similarity ends for these guys. The Tech Runner features a mixed material upper with us getting that suede hits on the front toe cap and the sides, as well as the cool kangaroo, I believe, leather in the front and that textile mixed media kind of right at the heel part. Now, the level runner is just all black, clean, premium leather. You'll find at the heels that the tech runner has more of a block shape, whereas the level runner has a rounded out shape in the back. They still both serve about the same purpose when I'm wearing them, and I think they're both cool shoes that kind of have two different looks. Next up, we have the Rick Owens Mainline Ramones, which I believe are from fall, winter 2020. Now, these I featured in my last video, which you can see here. I went through a few of the details, but I'll kind of run, run through them real quick again for you guys. These are going to have a supple calf leather upper, as well as heavy metal zippers on the side for easy access when you're trying to put them on and take them off. Of course, that thick rubber toe box that the Ramones are known for, and a slightly stacked midsole. Now, of course, it's going to finish up the details with that shark's tooth outsole and the extended laces that you can wrap around the top and get that really cool effect. 
Now for me, I'm going to always go with the high top Ramones, but I know some people like the low tops. You could do either. For these, I am in a 42 and a half, which is a nine and a half. I can do a nine and a half or 10 in most Nikes. I would say the nine and a half was great in these. It did take a little second to break them in. They were slightly uncomfortable, but now that I've broken them in after about five or six wears, they feel great. Next up, we have the Rick Owens and Birkenstock Iridescent Arizona Sandal. Now these I just wear around the house because they're super duper comfortable and I have the ugliest feet in the world. Nobody wants to see that, but I do do love these sandals. From the iridescent finish on the leather upper to the leather footbed that replaces the cork footbed to the extended straps that let you know that they are Rick Birkenstocks. I love these things from head to toe. I actually really want to get a pair of the Bostons, but they are so expensive right now. I really want to find a pair for like 200 bucks. So if you out there, you got a pair, you see in this video, you like I want to sell a pair 43 let your boy know and I'm trying to run through these things as fast as I possibly can but while I'm doing that why don't you take a minute and run down to that that like button there click it for me and let the algorithm know that you fox with your boy and you vibing with this video and you know what I'm gonna go ahead and say this too if you vibing with this or any of my other content go ahead and hit that subscribe button you know what I'm saying let them know let them know let them know and I'm gonna keep delivering y'all this fire content anyway Wait, man back to the video another one of my recent pickups that I covered in my last video of course these are the classic well-known Rick staple piece with the extended tongue that full calf leather upper that zipper on the side the big fat bulbous toe box all the things that you love about the geo basket is right here now these I did in a 43 and I wish I would have done them in a 42 and a half or a 42 they run a little bit big but it's okay I'd rather for them to be a little too big than a little too small. So these are my Geo baskets. I'd be rocking the hell out of these. I probably rock these the most out of all my Rick shoes if I'm being completely honest with you. And I just got these maybe a little over a month ago. Next up is the Beauty and the Beast, the Rick Owens Beetle Tractor Bozo Boot. I'm, I don't know if I put those all together right. It might be Beetle Bozo Tractor Boot. I think it's Beetle Bozo Tractor Boot. So the Rick Owens Beetle Bozo Tractor Boot. I had to pause and think about that. Anyway, too much of an intro for this shoe, but you already know what it is. That big, chunky, clear sole, that beautiful vanilla upper. I once again talked about this in my last video. I, mean, I think y'all should go check out that last video low key. Man, I just love everything about it. Just a new take on the Chelsea boot. The beautiful tractor sole, custom tractor sole looks incredible. I love the fact that they put the clear base on it, though I could have done a gum base on it. I love the calf leather upper. I love the thicker toe box and they just look so so good with slim silhouettes, but they also look good with that kind of baggy or flare overlaying kind of look. So they just work with so many different things. I can't wait to keep leveling my closet up to seeing what kind of crazy fits I could put together with these boys. So now we're gonna talk about the one t-shirt I have, which is a Rick Owens Dark Shadow t-shirt. I don't know exactly like what collection it comes from or what the technical name of it is, but it is one that I picked up from the real, real, I think I picked it up for like 90 bucks. So it was an absolute steal. I love the fit on this shirt as it is kind of boxy and slightly oversized, but then it has these exposed seams on the outside that kind of bring it back in for a tailored trim fit. And then it has this extended strip going all the way down from the armpit to add a little bit of a design flair to it. I am currently looking for more versions of this shirt. If I can ever figure out what the technical name of the shirt is so I can go search for it. Now moving into the pants or bottoms, I should say, because there are a few pairs of shorts in here. Let's start with these shorts and we will start with this Rick Owens Fogasheen Spring Summer 22 Coopero boxer shorts. Now these feature this lightweight Coopero fabric, this really, really short cut and it has those vents on the side for just a really cool breezy summer look. I'm going to keep it a buck. These are probably a little too small for me as I got these in a 48 or what would equate to a medium and I probably should have done a large in them, but they didn't have them and I got them for a great steal. They're still super fuego to me. I love what I think is called the babble pattern on them. And I'm actually looking to buy one of the matching shirts. I think they made a great Larry shirt to match up with this. And of course we can't pass up the elastic waist in the signature Rick drawstrings, which spoiler alert, you're going to be hearing that quite a bit throughout the course of this part of the video. So next up, we have a pair of dolphin boxer shorts from Rick Owens and champion. Another one of his ongoing collaborations. This time it features that same vintage short 
shorts cut, as well as the vents on the side, your extended signature Rick Owens drawstrings, as well as the elastic waist, and it features an accent with the pentagram logo and the champion logo kind of intertwined right there on the leg. Now these I did pick up in a large or a 50 and they fit perfect. It's what I wish my other shorts were in right now. I actually wear these a lot, like a whole lot. Like every time I'm off work, I find myself wearing these shorts and I'm looking to get a pair of just regular mainline cotton boxer shorts with a similar cut. Up next, we have one of my most worn pieces, the Rick Owens Tekatu. I don't want to try to jack up the pronunciation because I know you Rick heads will kill me, but I'll write the name on the screen here. Bauhaus Cropped Cargos. Now these are my absolute favorites and though I still really want a pair of the regular Bauhaus Cargos, these really fit the bill. Once again, I got these from the real real and I got them for a steal. I love the heavy metal zippers on the big ass pockets on the front. The crop fit is actually good for me as I'm a little bit short. I also love the deep drop crotch that they have on them. And of course we've got our signature Rick drawstrings. Told you I'm gonna say it a whole lot in the elastic waist. Now these are not the Bella version with the crotch zipper in the front. They're just the regular version, one of the earlier ones, but they're still super, super fuego. Next up we have the Rick Owens Spring Summer 22 Fog Machine Cropped Organic Cotton Trousers. Now these feature a really lightweight cotton fabric. In fact, I wish it was a little bit heavier. A cropped cut and a really loose up top and kind of slightly tapered at the bottom fit. Now, of course, they're gonna come through with those extended signature Rick drawstrings once again and that elastic waist, but just a very simple basic pair of pants. They do have those big cargo pockets on the back, which I really like. I think it gives it like a little bit of flair and a few little micro hardware pieces on the front. These I don't wear quite as often. I find myself leaning to the Bauhaus a little bit more, but when I want something a little less detailed, but to still have something that feels really nice on my body, especially a really hot day, I'll throw these on. And last, but certainly not least, another one of my top wears, the Rick Owens Phlegathon Spring Summer 2021 Cupero Joggers, this time from the women's collection. Now, there's a few things that I really love about these, starting with the light Cupero fabric, which feels great down here in South Florida. I never feel too hot when I'm wearing these. I also love the zippers down at the ankle, which gives me an opportunity to kind of customize the taper at the bottom. Oddly enough, even though they're women's pants, they have the heavy metal zipper right there at the crotch. And of course, our signature Rick Owens drawstrings in the middle in the elastic waist. They are a little delicate, but I don't feel like they're gonna fall apart when I'm wearing them, which is great. I would actually love to have a lightweight cotton pair in this exact same cut. So there you have it, my modest Rick Owens collection. Let me know down there in the comments what your favorite pieces are. I know most of you are gonna say one of the shoes, but I think the Bauhaus cargos are probably my favorite. I'm definitely looking to continue to add. I, I really love Rick Owens and I, I think his clothes fit my body probably the best of anything, or at least how I envision things should look on me. I really like a lot of the selection that Rick has. Anyway, if you enjoyed this one, I recommend you stick around and watch one of these two next. Until next time, peace.